Hiya! So in this last video, we're going to be looking at question 3 from the exam 2 practice. Um, this one should be not too difficult, uh, but it's going to require you knowing integration. Uh, so if you haven't brushed up in on integration, you'll kind of see exactly which integration to look at. Uh, there's also a video that I posted for a crash course on integration, um, and hopefully that will help. So basically what we have is the power goes out and it's nighttime. So you go to your cupboard and you notice you only have three candles. Um, on average, each candle will last four hours. Um, assuming you use one candle until it runs out and then the second candle and then the third, so you were using one at a time. What is the probability that they will last at least 10 hours? So we wanna give four decimal points and we wanna use random variables. Um, so here we're gonna let time, so since we're looking with time, we'll let T for time. Uh, ti be the number of hours, be the number of hours um, each candle candle lasts. Here we have i is one, two, or three, right? Because we have the three different candles. Um, we're told, so we know that they each last four hours. So the expected value of ti is equal to four for every candle. Um, for, um, I guess, hours. Okay. Um, so assuming, so here we have to figure out how to kind of approach this. Um, now there's an easy way and a harder way. Uh, the easier way is going to uh, require integration um, where, and I'm only basically going to go into that. So basically what we have here is if it's the expected value of this, notice how this is an exponential um, function, right? So whenever we're talking about things like this, um, we're assuming exponential right away. Uh, and, so, and so since we're assuming exponential, um, we know that this is going to give us 1 over lambda. So this implies lambda is equal to 1 fourth. And why am I looking for lambda? Well, because I'm going to use Erlang distribution. Erlang distribution. Uh, this should have been the last video um, from week eight. Um, and so that's why you need to make sure you have all the information so that you can properly um, handle everything. Use Erlang dis distribution um, on G3, which is just T1 plus T2 plus T3. Uh, that's how we kind of know this is. Uh, so here we have with shape, so what's the shape? Um, remember that this is the number r, how far this goes. We have three variables. So with shape r equal three and lambda equal one fourth. So this is where we got the lambda, why we had to get the lambda from. We got this from the expected value. And so we want to know the probability that this is at least 10 hours. So what's the probability that g3 is at least 10 hours, so 10 or greater hours. Well, so what is this equal to? This is equal to, and if you kind of recall what we had for this distribution, it's uh, the integral from 10 to infinity, right? At least 10, e to the minus lambda x, um, and I'll do this slowly, e lambda to the r, x to the r minus one, all over r minus one factorial dx. Um, so here, we're going to plug things in, 10 to the infinity, e to the lambda is 1 fourth, so minus x over 4, um, 1 over 4 to the r, um, x to the r minus 1 is 2, over 2 factorial dx. So here, we can bring out the, uh, the numbers that we don't uh, care about as much, so we have 1 over 4 cubed times 1 over 2 factorial is just 1 half. Um, and then we just need to figure out 10 to infinity, e to the minus x over 4 times x squared dx. Um, so here, if you're kind of used to this, you should know, um, you're, you should right away kind of see, oh, we have this x squared, so we're probably going to have to do um, integration by parts two times. Um, so what you can kind of do is start off with u is equal to x squared. This gives me du is equal to 2x uh, dx. And then here dv um, is equal to e to the minus x over 4 um, dx 
before dx. Um, and what is the um, reciprocal of this? The integral of this is um, v is equal to e to the minus x over 4 divided by uh, minus 1 over 4. Um, and so if you remember my little mnemonic trick, you're going to have voodoo here. Uh, so let me, this is my u. This part here is my v. So we have this is equal to uh, vu, so v times u, so I guess, sorry, this is dv, v times u, so we get x squared, I have a minus here, so minus e to the minus x over 4 divided by 4, uh, divided by 1 fourth, so I'm just going to flip this over to get 4 up top, so here I'm just going to put this over and put a 4 here. So this is my vu. Uh, v minus uh, vu do. So I'm missing the do. Uh, so that means I have, oh, this we have to integrate from 10 to infinity. Uh, so we have 10 to infinity here. Uh, and I have uh, v du. So I have, uh, so here I can do the same trick. I can do minus 4 e to the minus x over 4 times uh, 2x dx. Um, so in other words, let me kind of write this down again down here. I have um, I guess I can do this, 1 over 4 cubed times 2 times minus 4x squared e to the minus x over 4 from 10 to infinity minus, the or minus minus is plus 4 and 2, I can bring the 8 out, the integral of 10 to infinity of um, e to the minus x over 4, x dx. So basically I have to do integration by parts again. So let's do this round two. Uh, we'll do x this time so that it gets smaller. And then dv is again e to the minus x over 4. And this we already did before. Uh, so this shouldn't be too hard uh, to remember. Divided by minus 1 over 4. So here I'll just write this right away as e to the minus x over 4 uh, to kind of help see that much more clearly. Um, okay, so what do we have? We have 1 over... 4 cubed times 2, uh, minus 4x squared e to the minus x over 4. I'll use this 10 infinity um, soon. 8, uh, and here we have voodoo, so I have vu, so I have times minus 4, I guess I'll keep this here for now, 10 over infinity, uh, minus 4 um, e to the minus x over 4 times x, this we're doing from 10 to infinity um, minus vu du, so I need du. Uh, so du here I have just dx, so I have minus 4 e to the minus x over 4 dx. And then that cuts off for the 8, and then this cuts off for all of that. So this is equal to 1 over 4 cubed times 2. Um, minus 4x squared e to the minus x over 4. I'm going to distribute this 8. So here I have minus um, 8 times 4 is 32. e to the minus x over 4 times x. And here I have my 10 to infinity. And then I have minus, minus, minus. So this is um, plus. Um, and then I'm just going to take, okay, we'll do this one step at a time so we don't make mistakes. Uh, 4, so I can bring the 4 out too, so let me just do that. This is 32. Um, e to the minus x over 4 dx. Uh, and then here at this point we just have um, one little thing to note. We just have to do this final integral. But at this point, we've done this integral quite a few times. This is just minus 4 e to the minus x over 4. Um, and here, remember that we're getting this from here, right? So we have this part up here. That's basically where we got that from. So we have this. And basically, we're doing all of this from 10 to infinity. Now, the thing to note um, is um, note um, limit as x goes to infinity of x squared e to the 
minus x over 4. This is just going to be 0. Um, and you should probably remember why. The reason why is we have, so this is just the limit as x goes to infinity, x squared over e to the minus x, or not minus x to the 4. Um, and since x exponential grows significantly faster than x squared, the bottom part is going to go much, much bigger, so it's just going to end up being 0. So this is 0. And similarly, we have the limit as x goes to infinity of x e to the minus x over 4 is 0. And the limit as x goes to infinity of e to the minus x over 4 is equal to 0. Because we can't technically plug in 0. Remember, when we try to plug in 0, we're supposed to be taking limits. Um, and so what we have is 1 over 4 to the 3 times 2. The infinity, notice how here this, this, and this are all 0. So infinity is just giving us 0. So what we'll have is 0 minus... Here I'll note we're plugging in infinity, plugging, plugging in infinity. We get zero, and then we're left with the 10 part. So here I have minus 4, 10 squared times e to the minus 10 over 4, minus 32 times e to the minus 10 over 4 times 10, plus 32, uh, what's 32 times minus 4? It's minus 128. Um, e to the minus 10 over 4. Uh, and then at this point, you should see the minus kind of, uh, you can distribute that. Uh, so here we can do, these become pluses. Um, and so at this point, it's just basically calculator work. So we have 4 cubed times 2, um, and then 4 times 100, so 400 e to the minus 10 over 4 plus 32 times 10 is 320 e to the minus 10 over 4 plus 128 e to the minus 10 over 4. Uh, here I'm just doing this to kind of make it so I have less work to do in my calculator. 400 plus 320 plus 128. This should be fairly quick and uh, land. So 8, 2, 8 plus 8, 8, 2 plus 2 is 4, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 848 e to the minus 10 over 4. So at this point, I would plug into a calculator um, and I would end up getting 0 0.54381312 uh, as my final answer. Um, so note that since this integration, so you'll, you'll have a shorter um, problem, it won't be this long. Um, if you are doing the integration and you're having difficulty um, and you just don't have time in E class, um, just put kind of um, as close as you have on E-class um, and kind of go from there. Um, tr so one of the things is I am going to be making sure your integration is right. So if you just plug in infinity, um, then that is wrong. You need to make sure to be putting your limits um, to show that these are equal to zero. You don't have to explain it, but you do need to make sure to tell me that they're true. Um, because if you do screw up um, and one of your limits are wrong, then um, you will lose points. So you need to make sure that you're also doing them correctly. You can't just be like, oh, in the problem, in the practice exam, Aram had these things going to zero. So this must go to zero. I don't have to think about this. Because um, I think that was one of the big things people had a problem with for the first exam. They saw what I did here, and they were like, oh, this must be the same, and they just copied. If you do that, you might have problems. So just note, to make sure for all three questions, you are going over each one and making sure you, what you're doing is correctly. Don't just copy off what I'm doing. You will lose points. You will, like, just like what happened in question four last time, you it will be bad. So make sure you understand what you're doing. Uh, that should be it for this video. Um, and I guess I will see you next week uh, for any questions people have. So I will see you then. Bye.